The threes are going to be play money, no intro, what a night, pinnacle, Barity four uh, for you folks who like those extended pedigrees there. And um, this is a pedigree we've been building around for a long time and, and maybe some stuff you're not familiar with. And, and that's OK, um, because this sow line's worked for us. Um, the grandma here is one that we've built around for a long time. She raised uh, the grand there at EYO in the summer of, of 19. Um, and a sow that's put pigs in the sale at virtually every, every major that she's ever had a litter for. Um, uh, just one that we can really depend upon. And these daughters are getting in production, and we thought these no intros were going to be very valuable moving forward. And, and they're proven to be just that. Um, sired by the boar there at Moyers, play money. Um, I was fired up to get him in some sows when I got home, and, and I told a few close buddies about that boar. I thought he was what we needed on this type of sow, and it made sense in my head and, and put the pen to paper, um, and things make sense when you look at these hogs. Um, this is one of the very best litters we've ever had. Three, a solid black gilt, and one uh, that uh, has made some big moves uh, within the last few days. Uh, she was just a little bit uh, further behind uh, when you compare it to her mates, uh, uh, but one that uh, I think has uh, done the right things the last few days, one that I absolutely love in terms of just her density about her foot and bone work. She's awesome in terms of her look from this side, and she's got the right kind of length of body. Um, that it's going to take to make a, a very competitive show guilt, uh, one that I would dang sure have on my short list, uh, one of my personal favorites here in this offering. Uh, three six belted guilt here, and one that offers you a unique combination in terms of lateness and maturity, uh, and then being so stout when you study her at the surface. Uh, one that maybe just is a little lazier in terms of her ear set, and I think that's okay. Uh, it's gotten significantly better uh, within the past few weeks. Uh, one that I think uh, is going to make you a neat show guilt. Uh, yet I think uh, is backed with genetic potential to be an absolutely uh, a killer sow, one that I like a good deal here in 3.6. 3.5 solid black gilt and one that's absolutely alien in terms of her look from this side. Uh, one that's so good in terms of her build off either end of her skeleton. And if you like them uh, uh, with a waspy look and a long neck, uh, this one should be your speed because uh, she does that to a very high degree. Uh, one that's bendy in terms of her rear leg. Uh, and then this one uh, certainly is going to make some noise when she gets to a heavy weight. Uh, one that uh, just proportions so good from this side. Uh, one that I think has a very bright future here in 3-5. Three, 3-3 five. Three, three belted male pig, uh, M1 that is... Uh a show pony deluxe. Uh, when you study him from this side, he's so neat in terms of his look. He's awesome in terms of his proportions. Uh, and one that I told uh, Jared, he uh, he's pretty crazy for offering because I think this one has herd boar potential. Uh, he reads so stout and genuine about his build. Uh, this is one that uh, is one of my personal favorites within this cell. I think a very elite kind of livestock. And uh, you, this one should be on your short list. And uh, you should be doing everything you could possibly do to get get this one bought because uh, this is one that uh, is going to give you some trouble down the road if you don't uh, uh, proceed to get this one uh, uh, taken home within this sale because I think this one has the uh, the potential to uh, win a big one down the road. Look in here on 3-3. Three, three. 3-1 three, here, uh, the thin belted male within the threes, and I think one that uh, is so good in terms of his proportions from this side. He reads stout about his skull and he stints in terms of his forearm. Uh, he's correct in terms of the way he utilizes this uh, hip and hind leg. Uh, one that uh, maybe just has a little extra right now in terms of with the skeleton, um, but I certainly wouldn't be uh, uh, scared of that because I think if this one ends up in the uh, the right home, he has, a, has the potential to be a very... Uh, competitive pig that has a very bright future, uh, one that I would be very excited to take home and just throw some feet at and watch get better every day of his life. Look in here on 3-1.